Now, this is absolutely hilarious. The Just Stop Oil eco militant activists who have become extremely self entitled and arrogant up to a point where they're going to be causing trouble at the London Pride. It's a classic case of the political left eating itself. And they are losing supporters, left, right and centre. Some of the organisation corporations who came out to support them, they have now withdrawn their support because they've gone a little bit crazy. Yeah, that, that says a lot. But this is brilliant. People in this country are fighting back. The police have now been forced to finally start to arrest them properly. We still have a problem with courts and the justice system. But people on the streets, not only they're fighting back, they're getting frustrated and angry. But some are using a classic, classic British sense of humour to humiliate them and make fun of them. This is uh, <laughs> yesterday outside Waterloo Station in central London. The Just Stop Oil activists were doing their slow march, walking around and blocking the road. And there was a, uh, a stag party or a bachelor party. And uh, the, all these guys who were also dressed like idiots, <laughs> they came, they crashed their... Just Stop Oil March, and they decided to start chanting and singing, We love oil. We love the oil. We do. He's gone. He took the banner. <laughs> He took the banner. This is brilliant. <laughs> Oil. <laughs> oh. Where is the police? Okay, couple of important points. Um, so firstly, that was hilarious. And they started singing, uh, we love oil, we do. Secondly, there was a guy at the end who reminded them that that route, that road goes straight, well, actually it's near St. Thomas's Hospital. And there will be ambulances who use that road to go straight to the A&E. Uh, so that's one thing. S the, the main point is, this was outside Waterloo Station, right? For those of you who know central London, where is the police? What, how long will it take for the police to get there? It's, it's brilliant. I mean, I don't understand. With all the urgency that uh, Suella Bradman has now created uh, to give uh, new powers to the police, and they have been okay in some parts of the country and, and London, but again, they're still very, very slow. Again, I know pe people would say, well, they're on the resource and everything else, but it's central London. It's not really that far from the police station. So this is still a big problem, and they are going to be causing um, problems at London Pride, uh, there's going to be a Grand Prix, as usual, Silverstone is going to be a problem. It's, it's not going to end anytime soon. And they are going out there pretending and claiming that the establishment are not listening to us. The establishment must listen to us. The establishment is on your side. We've got corporations who are going green. Uh, we've got governments going with ultra extra net zero measures. We've got the whole of the international bodies and globalist elites going ahead with the narrative. We've got Hollywood celebrities doing the same thing. Everybody is being peer pressured into going green. This is not something that people are ignoring. There was this movie that Netflix made. It's an absolutely terrible movie. Um, it was called uh, Don't Look Up. Now we could check it out, but don't watch it. It's just so bad and boring. Uh, don't Look Up. It, but basically, the whole point of it was uh, the movie was about the world is going to end and we have to sort out the climate issue and everything else. Now they exaggerated it because of Hollywood. And uh, the scientists who were going on TV, trying their best to go on TV and talk to politicians. And the narrative was that the establishment says, don't look up, as in just basically be ignorant. So ignore the warning signs. But that's not happening in real life, is it? You've got Greta Thunberg going to have a meeting with Zelensky in Ukraine in the middle of a conflict. I mean, it's, it's astonishing how these people think that they are somehow some sort of Oliver Cromwell or Guy Fawkes sort of character. We are, we are the Robin Hoods of British or international politics. Everybody's listening to you, and that's the problem. People should stop listening to Insulate Britain, and Just Stop Oil, and uh, the Extinction Rebellion nutters. It's, it, this is not how we do political discourse in this country. Anyway, 
this was the latest update. I thought we'd just have a laugh, start the videos today with uh, some humor. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.